Good morning, everybody. It's cold turkey never looked back. Cold turkey never looked back. Me and my uh, best friend here, Lucky. Good morning. And, um, good morning, how are you? Good, thank you. Cold turkey never looked back. You have a good day. You don't know, uh, whenever I see, uh, whenever I see the, uh, homeless person, and, uh, you know, street people, I introduce myself as, uh, Cold Turkey Never Look Black. And most of them are around here at this corner, they all know me. By, uh, Cold Turkey Never Look Black. Cold Turkey Never Look Back. Uh, yeah, well, let me tell you what it is mean. Even my family doctor, he doesn't know what Cold Turkey Never Look Back mean. Five, six years ago, six years, over six years, uh, I went to my family doctor. At that time was, uh, I just moved. So I switched to family doctor, just moved to a new place and I said to him you know I told him I went on cold turkey and he said oh and he said oh turkey skin <laughs> cold turkey it's, it's like he said oh turkey skin oh give you a goosebump <laughs> no but anyway I guess if you're not into it you don't know what it is, right? But anyway, today, just want to let you all know that I, uh, it's been a long time since, uh, since, uh, you know, I upload uh, videos telling Jimmy life story. Uh, telling you the truth. Um, it's it's like it's like um it's, it's like some every time i i do the videos i'm walking my dogs i'm telling a story and it's like voices in my head and tell me don't do it don't do it don't do it and say all kind of all kind of not just one one voice many many voices in the head you know and uh like I said, it's basically you, uh, I'm still fighting, I'm still fighting the, uh, between the good and the evil. You know, there's, there's, there are like two, two sides of me, like inside of me, right? But I'm telling you, uh, I'm still do Jimmy Cold Turkey never look back and I fight really hard hard and I still haven't have not went back okay I have not went back which mean you know I haven't do any drugs since uh, Cold Turkey never look back and I am telling you this is the greatest feeling ever I fight I'm fighting I'm fighting hard very very hard to you know stay away keeping myself uh keeping myself busy working six seven days a week sometime if the boss asks you know uh, except for last uh tuesday he asked me to work seven days i can't do it you know and uh my mind wanted to do it my body does not able and you know i had an accident uh a year ago right and um, ever since that accident like I said you know just before the accident I can kick anybody on the head on the face in the head left or right but now I can hardly lift up my uh, past my knee you know it's it, the pain is there right the pain is there so 
and I want to let you all know oh, everybody else hits don't, don't try it you know don't try to do drugs you know try it like me you like it I know I, I said it a thousand times once you try to make love it so much you're gonna be so addicted like me 20 years you know turn from good 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 to bad and ugly you know and then fought myself back I fought the evil I fought the devil you know get myself back on my feet and it's been but it's 20 years of pain and suffering and you know and uh, and um, uh, basically it hurts a lot of people you know a lot a lot of people my uh, kids wife uh, family and laws everybody I hurt all my love basically all my family I hurt them so much I hurt them all they're all in pain you know but uh, thanks God you know the only way I think I thought that if I can forgive you know get people to forgive myself is you know by going on um, cold turkey never look back YouTube you know just telling my story hopefully I can save a person here or there telling my life story oh there's a pair of ducks want to meet him lucky telling my life story you know again as you all know this is a uh, cold turkey never look back Jimmy I didn't uh, I inherited a friend until I was around 30 or so I inherited a friend that doing drugs which mean what that mean is a friend uh, 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 a friend well he wasn't a friend then a friend move in I was sharing accommodation I find out that he was doing drugs and hanging out with him right but I'm not I'm not I'm not blaming him you know he's uh, I'm not blaming him at all but myself I hang around with them and, and uh, they introduce you know three or four years I have to hang around with them and say no and, you know and I start you know what uh, let me experiment you know they look fine to me but end up no once I tried it I got hooked I never want to stop so and you know I don't blame anybody like I said but that friend of mine he's still around that's the only guy that I know that he can control that's it period everybody else and oh here's the bad news bad news uh, around this corner here right now it's uh, warm right around the corner where I live and work not even a single single uh, uh, druggies out there right now and the reason is you know my buddy uh, the Vietnamese guy little guy around the corner Vietnamese just like me right <clears throat> he's the king of that jungle when he's there people camping around all day all night a lot of people right but what happened this past winter there are six seven people around that corner dead overdose dead okay so overdose dead and uh, every time I hear somebody overdose over there and I went and talked to my friend and, you know oh my god and he always say he he says oh said that idiot he doesn't know how to control okay and now the idiot is my friend he's dead and with six other people around the corner that I know so I feel so lucky very 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 lucky just lucky like my dog here I name him lucky because I'm so lucky okay so lucky to be alive anyway I'm on my way to work just before I go to work take lucky for a walk <coughs> does his business 
come home, take him for a walk before five, six o'clock, that's his business. But anyway, I'm fighting, I'm fighting, I told, I'm telling you guys, I'm fighting, fighting very hard. They're like, voices in my head won't go away. Okay, and I think today, today, finally, I break through. I'm breaking through, okay? The, the breaking through the, um, uh, you know, I'm beating the devil. Okay, by putting this video up, I think I'm uh, beating the devil. And you got, you all gonna hear my life story, you know, from uh, Jimmy Bowie, 11 years old, from Vietnam. You know, war-torn country. Uh, my uncle and aunt uh, pay, raised by my uncle and aunt because my dad, my mom, passed away. Or my mom and dad given birth to me, I think. I don't even know her name. Don't even uh, have his pictures. And. Uh, live with my uncle and aunts and they uh, pay to smuggle me out to Vietnam uh, go through Thailand go through uh, no first go to Cambodia before you get to Cambodia get to Thailand but before you get to Thailand you have to get through the gorilla in the jungle between Thailand uh, Cambodia and then Thailand and those people are just kill killing people left and right they kill a lot of Vietnamese people, they kill a lot of their own people. And I'm so lucky to live through it. And uh, I, will, I will slowly, slowly tell life story, my experience from life. From 11 years old, how I get here. And this is, okay, so hang on. And thank you everybody. Thank you very much for I know it's boring, my uh, my story, my life, it seems very boring, but it is the truth. I'm not cutting anything, I'm not adding anything, it just, uh, you know, just like this. But thank you for following me, and thanks everyone, and 